At some point in your adventures in the Mojave Wasteland, you've likely encountered Jason Bright and his merry band of ghouls in the Repcon test site. You can help Jason prepare for his great journey to the far beyond, but what or where is the far beyond? In the quest, Come Fly With Me, Jason Bright, a rare glowing ghoul who has not gone feral, explains that Chris Haversom cannot join them on their great journey to the far beyond. It's taken them two years to reach that point, with Chris being kept away from the radioactive rockets by being told that it would be a waste of his talents to work on a single rocket at once when he can supervise the entire process from above. And even if the radiation near the rockets weren't an issue, the far beyond supposedly has so much radiation that it would result in Chris's immediate demise. Nobark Noonan in Novak describes the Bright Brotherhood not as ghouls, but as communist ghosts trying to get to the moon. After you finish Fallout New Vegas, you get an assortment of slides detailing the outcomes of the various factions, groups, and noteworthy individuals you've met. If you don't side with the Legion and complete Come Fly With Me by sending Jason into the sky, a few Bright Brotherhood followers return to Novak to aid the town in its rebuilding and fortifying of defenses after the Second Battle of Hoover Dam. This gives a clue as to where they went. If it was such a process to get the rockets ready to fly, how could they have come back from the moon? And then how would they get back to the far beyond? New Vegas did use aspects of Black Isle Studios' Van Buren, and one of the ideas they had was a settlement called Boulder Dome. Think of it as the Big Mountain Research Facility just in Denver. Among the many things researched at the Boulder Dome was the concept of building a settlement on the moon. Maybe Jason Bright, because he was alive before the war, has knowledge of this base on the moon and views it as the safest place for him and his fellow ghouls. But let's back away from the moon for a moment. Assuming I understand directions, the Bright Brotherhood fire in their rockets facing northwest to start the Great Journey. This implies that the rockets are important, that they couldn't get to the far beyond without them. Space makes a lot of sense, but so does another place. A place that fits in with this idea of the far beyond. A place that ghouls would view as a paradise. Necropolis Necropolis is what remains of Bakersfield, California. It's about 220 miles, 350 kilometers, away from New Vegas. There are lots of very bad things that lie between Vegas and Bakersfield, one of which is Death Valley. Death Valley is one of the hottest places on Earth, and the Great War couldn't have made it any more pleasant. Flying over Death Valley in a rocket would be a pretty good way to avoid the heat. Back to Necropolis, Necropolis is known as the City of the Dead for two reasons. The first is that anyone traveling through the city either gets incredibly sick with radiation poisoning, or they just disappear, never to be seen again. The second is that there is still a group of ghouls living beneath the city streets. Most of the buildings are still intact, making it a pretty good place for ghouls to live. Another possibility that may be even more likely is The Glow, one of the most heavily irradiated locations in Fallout. Formerly known as the West Tech Research Facility, it was where T-51B power armor was designed. It was also a primary target to American enemies. As such, it took a direct hit from a nuclear warhead. All it takes is a few seconds in The Glow, and you're ready to drop dead from radiation poisoning. Eventually, ghouls from Necropolis settled northwest of the Glow, calling their town a day glow. Just imagine it, all the radiation you could want, weapons to defend yourself because West Tech was an army base after all, and a nearby town that's friendly towards ghouls. What else could a ghoul ask for? One small problem. They'd likely be killed before they got inside Glow proper. There's a robotic defense system still operating in the Glow. In 2134, a group of Brotherhood of Steel members in power armor investigated the Great Crater where the war had hit. The defense system, whatever it may be, cut through power armor like a hot knife through my kidney. The ghouls could just settle near the glow, but what's the point of that? A third possible location is the underworld in the capital wasteland. Non-feral ghouls are welcome, the super mutants don't bother them, and they have food and water. Sounds good, except it's not irradiated. Jason Bright made it very clear that the far beyond not only was irradiated, but was so heavily irradiated that it would kill Chris Haversom pretty quick. So, where exactly is the far beyond? 
We don't know. At best, we can make some guesses based on things we do know. Maybe it's Necropolis. Maybe it's the glow. Maybe it's the moon. Maybe they're blasting off into the fucking sun. Nobody knows, and that's good enough for me. That's gonna do it for this video about where the far beyond might be. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. If you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything, leave a dislike. Follow me on Twitter, at Mitten Squad. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day. Or don't. What a twist.